No, 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 go away, go away. Hey gamers, I'm Hobby Dude, and today we are going to be doing some creative building in Minecraft. We are going to make the creepy grandma. Let's go! This is my world right here, and from one of my last episodes that I played in Minecraft, my house burned down. So I've been kind of slowly rebuilding my house out of a material that is not going to burn. I still got my bat cave down over here, down below my house. We'll go down and check out the bat cave for those of you who haven't seen it. Um, I got my bat logo. That was a bat. There we go. Got a bat right there, just flying around. Got two bat logos here. Um, got the yellow and black one, and then I kind of wanted to do the one that they did in the Lego Movie, so I did the red logo, kind of going through the cave. I thought it was really super cool. A lot like the uh, Batman Lego Movie, I uh, did the movie theater that you can see here with all these people watching. Uh, this big huge screen so we got some creepers and some Steve heads and the dragon and this is the new update where it's got like this whole underground water world and fishes and stuff like that we'll go over here to uh, kind of the creative part you can see here that I made Freddy Fazbear I did Foxy I got Joker land over here um, pretty cool because I got a roller coaster running through Joker land also built uh, Batman, kind of like the Lego version of Batman and Robin. Robin's like, no. uh, he's more like, oh no. I got my SpongeBob world over here and a roller coaster that goes all around SpongeBob's world. And then it goes up this wall right here and down through a toilet and you get flushed out. Check it out. We got a pig <laughs> riding a Minecraft. Car. <laughs> Pig is on a roller coaster. That is awesome. We are going to build the creepy grandma, and because she is creepy, I don't want her in my creative world because it just creeps me out, to be honest. So we're going to build her like way over here. I built the TNT stacks here. We're going to blow her up afterwards. We are going to be building her out of pretty much mushrooms because mushrooms are. Ugh and white mushrooms for her dress. Let's just kind of start on her feet. So I'm gonna kind of build this up as like, this is the middle. Um, and then we're gonna go one, two, over. Make sure you watch until the end. We're gonna ask a mystery question like that. And then we're gonna go one, two, over here like that. And we're gonna make her feet uh, first. So we're gonna give her five toes. So there's one, two, three, come in. Three, four, five. Give her some pretty wide feet, but yeah, that's five, right? And we'll make them come out. I think what I've decided to do is because she is creepy, I'm gonna give her slime toes, cause that's gross. And because it's a pinky, you need it to be a, uh, and here's her big, big toe. And we'll do the same thing over here. Cool. So her legs, we're gonna be like right here. We'll make her legs go up. We'll do like a total of three bricks. Then we're gonna start her dress because she really don't see her feet. So we're just gonna give her feet anyways. And then we're gonna make her dress go all the way across. Like that. And then we'll make it come out on the sides a couple. And then we're just gonna kind of build up from here. Let's go from the foot up. So we're gonna make her like three or four blocks deep. Let's see how that looks. Let's go, little, let's go like two or three higher. That looks good. And then let's taper this off. Let's go one more. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm gonna give her some buttons. Button there, and a button there. Button there. Kinda looks like a snowman, but that's okay. Now we've gotta build her arms. We're gonna go like this. And then she kinda has like the dress going over her arms. There we go. There we go. And because we're gonna make her three deep, we'll do the arms three deep. I need to do like one of them first. We're gonna go too deep on her arms. 
She has like shoulders. And we want her kind of being like, ooh, like that. If we're gonna make her holding something in her hand. There we go. And then on this hand, I've got some uh, oak wood planks here. We're gonna make her a bat. Cause she needs something to hit you with, right? Yeah. She's gonna be holding a bat. Might be too tall, but I don't care. She's creepy. There we go. All right, now she is holding a bat. We're gonna make her face, and we're gonna go one more row here with that. And this is gonna kind of be the start of her face here. And I kind of want her face sticking out from the body, cause creepy. So we got three. This is gonna be like her chin area. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. We're gonna replace that with a white one. There we go. And then we need some red. This is gonna be for her mouth. And then I'm gonna give her obsidian because she has a creepy mouth for the mouth area, and then we'll do some more red. Oh, that's a pretty big face, huh? Here, let's do this. We'll give her obsidian for like, there, and then, does that look like? Yeah! Cause she has that red blood in her teeth and stuff. And then we'll keep going. We've got her nose to do. For her eyes, oh, she's got some creepy eyes. So we're gonna do red there and there, and then maybe some that, some white. You know what, I'm gonna put her ears over here, like that. There we go. That's a pretty long face, like this. There we go, kinda give her some dimension. So we're gonna use this bone block for her hair and she's got some creepy hair. Before we do that, I'm gonna fill in her head and I'm only gonna do the outline because I want it to be three um, deep. We don't leave kind of like the inside of her hollow. So I finished outlining the back of her head and her dress. I got it about three, about four blocks wide. Her head is the same, about four blocks. And what I did is because when we explode her, I really want her just to go away. Um, so I left an opening here that I can kind of get into and I filled up her head with more TNT. Should be enough to make a pretty good explosion. And I did more TNT all the way uh, down inside of her dread. Now I'm gonna use a uh, bone block for her hair and I've seen like several gameplays and images and different versions of this kind of creepy grandma. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just to kind of um, do it. We're just gonna kind of play around here. And let's see how she looks from the front. And it's kind of weird. She's like balding almost, but we'll put some hair Kind of like here. Kind of random pieces. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna build her other arm here. Take those out. And I actually might even give her a hand. In the sense of I'm gonna build her a hand, not give her a hand, cause she doesn't need my help. Yeah, there we go. And I might make a claw that actually looks like it's holding the bat. So we're gonna go like this. All right, so now the claw is going to come out. There we go. Now it's like official. Yeah, now it looks like she's actually holding on to the bat. I'm gonna get you! We got slime toes on her. We've got her filled with TNT. We're gonna have some fun. I got these cobwebs here. We're just gonna make her super ultra creepy. And I wanna put like cobwebs in her armpits. Cause what's grosser than cobwebs in an armpit? Of an old creepy grandma. 
And we're gonna do some cobwebs in the other armpit, cause that's gross. Okay, so we got some cobwebs in her armpits, kinda coming down. You know what we should do? We should put a spider there. Okay, then we're gonna go inside of her head. It's so tall. All right, so this is kind of like her belly area. I need a torch, cause I can't see nothing. There we go. All right, don't light it on fire. Now, we are going to spawn other creepy stuff inside of her, cause that'll be fun. So we can kind of see them. Is, I'm gonna put some windows and we're gonna make it so that we can see the monsters inside of her. There we go, wanna be able to see them. So now we need to spawn some monsters. So let's do that. We're gonna try to spawn a spider out of this dispenser. So we're gonna put the spider. I got 64 spider eggs and I've also got some creepers that we're gonna put inside of here, should be kind of fun, so we'll see what happens. Inside Creepy Grandma's Belly! So let's uh, spread these around, like that. And let's put a pig man in here, so that should be good. So let's uh, let's try this out. Oh, wrong one. Whoa, no, 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 go away, go away. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Well, made a ginormous hole. Okay, well, not what I had planned. <laughs> That is it for our Creepy Grandma Roblox Minecraft version of Creepy Grandma. Kind of blew her up a little bit uh, prematurely there, made a ginormous hole. Uh, well, there was her mouth and her hair and part of a bat and uh, everything else got exploded. So hope you liked the video. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out one of these awesome videos here to continue the fun and I will see you guys soon. Here's our mystery question. How many times did the creepy grandma appear in the video? Write it down in the comments.